Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create a quick Valentine's Day card using On One Photo Raw. Let's dive in and take a look. All right, so inside of On One Photo Raw, we have this Valentine's Day card template here. We're just gonna to navigate to that in the Browse module of Photo Raw, and we're just gonna head into Edit with that template there. From here, we're just gonna bring in any photograph. This could be any image you want to add into the center area. To do that, we're gonna go over to this Layers section we're going to use this little plus icon and we're going to navigate to a photo. I just have this couple photo here, but again, it could be any photograph that you want to add into your Valentine's Day card. I'm going to grab this image there. I'll add it as a layer. Now from here, because the image is quite large, I'm going to grab my transform tool, which I can grab over here on the left side of my screen. You can also grab your transform tool by hitting V on your keyboard. And I'm just going to scale it down a little bit probably about there. And then what we're going to do to put this behind the frame is we're going to go into our layers pane here. We're going to drag this below the Valentine's Day card. And there we go. We have it nice and framed up within the card. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to add on some text. So to add on text, it's really easy. We're going to go into our layers pane. We're going to make sure we have this top layer selected so that we add text on top of that layer so that we can see it as the top layer within our scene. And we're gonna head down to this little T icon here. We're gonna select that and that's going to bring us a text layer. So within our text layer, I'm just gonna type in happy Valentine's Day, but this could be any message you want to put onto your cart. Let's just type in happy Valentine's Day, just like that. And so also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my properties dialog here and in my text, I'm gonna highlight that text. and I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger maybe around 79 or so. And I also want it as just one line. So I'm gonna enlarge the text box a little bit by just clicking on this right handle there and dragging this to the right. I'm also going to use this alignment section within the properties dialog, and I'm gonna use the center alignment. That way, when I bring this up, I can align it properly so that it's right in the center of the card itself. So we're gonna add on another layer of text as well for the bottom section. And this could just be names, this could be from your family, whatever you want it to be. But because we used sans serif font up top here, let's use a script font at the bottom to make it a little bit classier. So to do that, we're gonna head into our layers again and we're gonna add on another text layer. So I'll just choose text there. And this time I'm gonna change my font. And I'm just gonna go in and choose a script font. And I'll just type in a name, I'll just use Tom and Jane, just like that. And we'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna grab this and go into my alignment and choose center. That way I can drag this down and center that at the bottom of my card. And so just like that, we have a nice elegant Valentine's Day card that we can send to our friends, our family. We can put it as a social media post, you name it. And it's right there, really easy to use and really easy to manipulate or modify if you need to redo anything. So let's just go back and review the tips. So all we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring in our Valentine's Day card. Then we're gonna add in our photo that we want to bring in as the centerpiece for the card. And we're gonna drag that below our Valentine's Day card. From there, we're gonna add on a couple text layers. Again, this could be any text you want to add into your card. I just use Happy Valentine's Day and then added a couple names at the bottom. So now once we're done, if you want to export that into a specific file type, we're gonna head into the bottom right part of our screen here. We're gonna choose export. This is gonna pull up our export dialog here. And what I'll typically do for holiday cards or Valentine's Day cards of any sort. So I'm just gonna export them as a JPEG. And I'm gonna go into my export options here. I can just name this Valentine's card. And I'll head down. I typically use ask when exporting for my destination. That way it pulls up my computer's finder or navigator. I can immediately pick where I want this to be exported into. Now this is really important in here. We're gonna go into the file type section and we're gonna choose JPEG. We don't really need an incredibly large file. We just need something that we can get to a printer or send to social media. So a JPEG should work just fine for that. 
And then when it comes to resizing here, I'm just gonna go in and turn this off and just leave it as the size that it is. And then after that, I can just head down once everything's good and ready to go. I'm just gonna head down and choose export. And that's how easy it is to create a Valentine's Day card inside of On One Photo Raw. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next lesson.